So now I'm really curious to start the setup procedure. Let's do this. I just copied one of my quads that I used so far and um, set up a few standard things. Like I normally have a motor, a, a throttle limiting a switch here. We should be able to see something on the field world monitor here, which I have on my second camera. Okay, it beeps around. Okay, now I already see something. I just need to switch to PAL or MTSC, whatever it is. Yeah, and here we go. We are. Okay, so I need to bind the receiver, and he tells me this. Okay, I had a slight problem with the X8R. It's just not compatible with the Vortex, at least at what I understand now. I savaged another quad and got the easy UHF 4 channel light, which is a good fit for such a small quad and gives me good range anyway. So, and as soon as I plugged this in and bound it, the setup assistant moved on. And he now asks me to center all controls, which I will do. Move roll control to the left and hold. Move your control left and hold. Your left. Neutral. Startle to min and hold. Neutral. Move pitch stick back and hold. And neutral. Left stick back and left. Left stick back and left. Level quad and what? level quad. Move right stick back and hold. Right stick back and hold. Okay. <laughs> this is so nerdy. Yeah, but that's that's what we want. Okay, so that was the sound of victory. Okay, so what do we see on the OSD? Uh, it gives me an RSSI reading, which I love to see. Really good. I see that I'm in acro mode. I'm disarmed. Uh, the channel reading. Okay, so the mode switch works. That's really cool. I mean, I copied this model from another quad with a clean flight on it, so it should be about the same and I really like this here. I had some trouble getting into the OSD menu. Throttle to zero and your stick to the right will arm the copter so you can start it up. And throttle zero and all the way to the left will uh, bring you into the OSD menu. And I had to trim uh, left a bit more because on the initial setup I had only 80% of rates on all the channels, so I didn't move the sticks fully to their extension. So if you don't find your way into the OSD menu, it's easy. Throttle down all the way to the left. If the menu doesn't pop up, just trim more to the left. And once you're in the OSD, you get a nice menu. Well, it's a good idea to give the plastic cap on the camera so you can see the menu better. And with uh, elevator up down, you move the menu buttons. OSD setup. And with right, you check into the menu. Or you 
with right and left. Now with with left you jump one one back, and with right you go into the menu point. There we go. Now I see shim. Cool. Units. Telemetry enabled. Pack capacity. Beeper frequency. Start of dance. Super Mario Imperial March. I will choose the Super Mario because it somehow fits to my first name. White level, grey level. Don't know. Okay. Alarms. Battery milliamp. Okay. You can either have the LED uh, permanent in the color you want from about yes. 10 colors or you can set the intensity uh, or a gradient. So you could have one color and get more intense with throttle or you can choose between two colors, let's say white and red and it moves more to red if you give more throttle. Not sure about yeah. yeah, orange looks cool, <laughs> like an afterburner. Here you can choose between four different bands, and you also get a graphical overview of the channel you're in uh, in comparison with the other three bands. You can set the power level from uh, low, auto, or high. Low is 250 milliwatts, uh, like I measured it, and high is 350, and auto will switch between both. I write you the thing about the game setup in the description here, it's too long. Um, more important, the flight controller. You can have three profiles and easily switch on the field with different settings. And really cool is that you have pro tunes uh, from the pros, and you can test their settings and see what you like the most. 12. You get 12 tunes. Metal Danny with his logo, that's nice, yeah. <laughs> Style advanced, yeah. <laughs> Who would have thought? Oh my god. That's Tommy. Advanced. Uh, I'm not too sure. <laughs> so I think that the B-Web would look like the best match to the standard settings here. Yeah. Pit settings here. Yeah. I wouldn't mess with them directly. Just out of curiosity. Browse through them. Oh, it's okay. RC setup. RC rates, okay. RC rates and expo. Okay. They fly with the pit controller rewrite at the standard. I was really loving the Lux float, but we'll leave that standards. Here you could repeat the TX wizard if you failed on the first try. This is the fighter plane like OSD, but I don't like the update rate, so I. I will not use it. Then there was also the gamer mod where you get points for staying really gamer. low okay. with the altitude. Um, I will have to try this out. It's, I like to fly with the easy OSD, but if you want the air, air race mode, it's uh, yeah, very it's really simplistic basic. where you have a battery bar at the bottom and the timer, and that's all. Yeah, and after each flight you get the statistics page with flight time, battery volts, milliamps and current. Really love it. Cam placement. Yeah, as I told, I'm not so sure about this. I will have to go with a lesser angle for the first flights at least. So let's conclude this. These are my, these are my first impressions. We have a nice glowing quad sitting here. Uh, setup was quite easy. I had one issue with the X8R and now I'm thinking about there is 
You get two cables. One of them should be an SBUS compatible cable. And what I read in the manual is you have to open up the quad and attach the SBUS cable directly to the board. And then maybe the X8R would work. But you have to check this. Um, I'm, I like the idea to go with the easy UHF here. Um, and I had this issue with, with the, the sticks not going all the way to 100%, which prevented me from uh, coming into the OSD menu. So remember, arming the copter with throttle to zero and all the way to right, you ought to right, and you get into the OSD menu, throttle zero and all the way to the left. It's also the way you disarm your motors. Just a little uh, tip, um, I have one switch that reduces uh, the way of the throttle and if this switch is uh, on the bottom position then my throttle doesn't do anything. So I can arm it only if the engine switch is in the off position and then I switch engine on and I can fly and I cannot disarm uh, unintentionally in the air, I have to switch engine off and can then uh, move the stick to the left and disarm the copter. That's, yeah, that's the way I like it. If you're curious how to set this up, I can uh, give you the infos, but if you have a Taranis, you probably have figured out this already. This is some sort of alarm. Okay, switch it off. So, nice first impression. Hope the weather permits a maiden flight tomorrow. I'll try to record some flights for you and show you how I like this little quad. But from what I've seen, it's really good tuned and really nice. Okay, so thanks for watching this episode. Hope you liked it. Let's see in the next videos how I like this copter and I will tell you this. So, if you considered buying these, and have some questions I didn't cover in this video, just let me know. I'll be happy to answer them in the comments. Thanks for watching this video.